Oh boy. Alright guys, we're back with Bowdy. So this was the dog that was giving me all kinds of refusals yesterday. So what you don't want to do, what you've got to say to yourself is, okay, with this dog, I do have good control at a far distance. And you, if you said, what do you mean? I can use the collar to make it come back to me big and fast from a far distance. My trouble is located within the concentric circle right around the handler. And I'm going to tell you how they get these refusals. And it's honestly normal. I, I give up too. But people will tell the dog to do something and even do it two or three times. And then the dog doesn't do it, so they just give up. Or they're distracted, so they just give up. So my job is to move the dog to the outer edge of the circle rather than repeat what it was doing yesterday. And you do have to use a battle of attrition to let this dog know that once the sequence is activated, it, because what he believes is there are a couple options. If I want to do it, hi, Susan. If I want to do it, Oh, I guess it's Shelby, I'm sure. If I want to do it, I will, but I do have the option of not doing it. So, yeah, that's what people do. It's kind of normal. Uh, and you do, though. You've got to be ready as the handler if they are giving you a refusal. You've just got to follow through the best you can and then come up with a different strategy. And my honest advice with that is... I'm starting to understand, Mike, that what we need to tell people in the very beginning is they're concentrating on two areas, the outer band of that concentric circle and the inner band. And the rest of it will kind of fill itself in. If, if you were only doing this training on a cursory level, that's what you would be doing. Obviously, if you're doing it more technical, you're practicing turns at every one of the circles. And if you said, well, I can make it remote sit this distance, that distance, that distance from the handler. You know, that's what you'd be thinking of. But in the beginning, I think we're telling the people you're operating. Hi, Maria. On the outer edge of that concentric circle, getting the dog to move back towards the handler. And then that being a big help to the, the, the concentric circle that surrounds the handler. Because if you said, you know, dogs with no food driver are less interested in the handler. I know. All right, let me go grab some shoes because we're going to, uh, and you are, though, you're trying to find different food. And if you said, what kind of food should we try? I'll tell you what dogs with no food drive. A lot of the reason, they like people food. And if you said, why? Because the people have tried giving them treats. Gretchen's like, I can hear you. But then, if they didn't like that, they tried giving him a piece of chicken, <laughs> you know? And then after that, a piece of steak, and who knows, a mushroom, anything. All right, let me grab my shoes real quick. I'm probably going to get all dirty, but this is going to be a good episode. So I'm going to tell you what I did notice, and that's a dog that when I left is now over by the door trying to see where I went. So that's one of those things when you find out, they really do care! Bowdy! Or maybe not. Where's Shoe Bottom? Hang on. Bowdy! No, he got in the house. Hang on. I can already tell. He got in the house and he went, he's in the garage looking for me. Yeah, yeah, no, I'll tell you what happened. Shoe bottom opened the door. Oh, she's awful. Oh, yeah, no, he's in here. Don't worry. Oh, no, he's in the house somehow. Bowdy! Yay! Yay! Oh, she's absolutely awful. 
Anyway, I've reconnected with Debbie Leiby. Remember how I always said the only person I would ever give shoe bottom to is... Now he's been thinking, where was she? Uh, Debbie Leiby. Well, and then I said to Debbie yesterday, you need a white boxer. Her answer wasn't, no, I don't. Her answer was, I do, I do. <laughs> so the plan is in action. The only person I would trust shoe bottom with is Debbie Leiby. Don't get rid of that leash, though. She's very, very thoughtful. Uh, so shoe bottom's ruining my training by opening the door. But I'm still saying to myself, I'm only going to operate the dog from that outer circle. I have no reaction to it being within the inner circle. And I think maybe that's where your indifference comes in, Mike. Yeah, I took that one video. Oh, and awful. A long time ago. And by a long time ago, I probably meant like nine months ago. I'm using the circles. I only had one circle on the outside, though. I didn't understand concentric circles at that time. I only figured them out last Tuesday. All right, so I'm saying to myself, what I want is a dog at the outer edge of that boundary. I don't want to do anything when the dog is close to me. Oh, Debbie's not watching. Debbie's like, psycho. No, no, I didn't say psycho, Debbie. I meant sweetheart. Right, there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> Yay. All right, so I'm telling you right there what that tells me. Now I've got a dog that's willing. He's defaulting to coming to me from the outside, from the outer boundary, from the outer edge of the universe. Oh, we just leave them behind. So I like that. You're operating in that realm. And then you're... Oh, here she comes. Anyway, here we are at the little peaceful pond. Oh, with a fish splash. That's what I'm saying right now. I'm going to only operate the dog from that outer edge because that's where I have the most apparent. Uh-oh, uh-oh. There's a rabbit right there. She bought him, didn't see it. Yeah, she, she wasn't deaf. She would have heard it. Well, she's just gone. She's gone. She's no fool. She's not going to let me. Right into the bushes over there spying on the neighbor. She's awful. I'm sure they look out their window and see her little beady face over there at their fence. It's awful. Yeah, well, look what the cat dragged in. Uh-oh, there's a rabbit right there. Molly's going to spot it. Look. Nope, too late. Let's see if they smell it when we get up here. And it was right there. He caught a little of it. Oh, Molly did too. Look at her. You better not go in there, Molly. Yeah, that's where they live, their little house of thorns. Yeah, they're very safe in there. Hawks, nothing can get them in there. So I really have no reaction to the dog when it's in that inner circle. I understand that now, Mike. You've got, you know, if we're not getting what we want there, we need to just go back to the, all right. Yeah, he's got a pretty good default, though. Yay. Oh, that's my natural jump I put. I think it's a good idea. Hi, Jessica. If you want to teach one to jump, just put one in your, put a jump in, an organic jump on your trail. Anyway, this is a little trail. This is more rabbit condos back here. Oh, 
I'm not talking to the dog. I'm not saying anything. I have no interest in it. Their interest level has to match their interest level at this point. That was just a little bit of animation, so you just add a yay. The opposite would have been, knock it off, cut it out. Okay, doesn't like it when I jump around. You know, you don't want to say that. Bowdy! Yay! Yay! So I've got a little bit hungrier dog, and that was plenty of speed. I had plenty of speed. So that's where I'm operating at now. And I'm saying to myself, you know, it's already good at that. So it's only gonna get better. That's what you're saying. It's only gonna get better at that. OMG. That's why I don't let shoe bottom get behind me. Molly hides behind me. I don't know what that big splash was. Did you guys see that? So if you said, what, what fade do you have different today? I only have the natural balance roll, and I did mix bologna in. If you buy cheap bologna, don't ask me why. Something about bologna. All right, so now I'm getting more movement. It's all going good. Yay. You know, if they just keep walking along, based on some of the videos I see of people, Dogs are sluggish animals that don't move around. Uh-oh, uh-oh, here we go. But I'm not doing anything. If you said, where is this dog in the concentric circle? About three checks out. And if you said, what are you considering the outer boundary? About 15 checks out. <laughs> you know, if you're marking it in increments. Oh, am awful. Just ran away. And the dog has a default of staying with the handler. So I like all that. But I think you have to say, if it's not good in the inner circle with the handler, your best bet is move is understanding it's your big picture. That's the problem. So move to your outer circle. And reward your defaults. Let me tell you what. Don't be, well, you're not going to get something every time. You know, when people start with that, it's like, ay, ay, ay. Or the worst thing that they can say to that. We use the treats intermittently. That keeps their interest. No, it doesn't. It makes you the erratic handler. You need to have the verbal concurrent with the food. And then you've always got the verbal. But, it, oh, am awful. Try to run Molly over me like a truck. Look at her, she's awful. There's no curing her. I hope Debbie's not watching. <laughs> Debbie's curing what? I thought you said she was an angel. She's an absolute angel, just a mischievous little angel. All right, good. So now we got some movement. And he likes to jump around and do a bunch of augmented aggression. Yeah, uh huh, here we go. That was exactly what I'm looking for. When he's being let out, I have to kind of let him out by himself because at the door, he'll kind of do this aggressive thing towards the other dogs. And you now they get mad. Yeah, he starts that augmented growling. Bounty! Yay! 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 So I know I've got a dog that's eating, but you know, the opposite of that would be knock it off, cut it off. You know, nick, 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 shut it down. No. Bring it up, raise the roof. Yay. So that was just my pager, though. Yay. 
but I've got a dog that's much more, a dog that's residing in the inner circle. Let me get the baloney. Oh, how they love the baloney. And it's slightly below vanity. What would be gentler than immunity? A 20 year old toothless alpaca. <laughs> That's his street level. But there's my animation. And I'm, you have to say any animation. And I made myself a part of that kind of by. Again, rewarding it. Here we go. Here we go. Bowdy! Yay! 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 I should have done one bag of just baloney. There we go. So that's where I'm at. Now I can see. Now what I want to see is if I can get my. Oh, am awful. If I can get my down as a default. And then if you said, then what do you do? Then you have to marry that up with the, I don't just say it for no reason. And you've got to do it. Because it really wouldn't be a train down in a dog like this unless it had given you refusals and you resolved those. And that's why, I mean, it is easy to tell. If you said from the behaviors viewpoint, why is the pager better? Give me a handful of reasons. It's very easy to see obvious refusals with the pager as opposed to without it. So I know I get, now I've got a dog that's interested in me. Let me sort out my baloney first. Let me get some of the baloney. Oh, the baloney, the baloney. How we love the baloney. And I do think if you're trying to build up food drive, if you're trying to build up food drive, I say don't do rituals around the food when you're feeding them. But if you're trying to build up food drive, you do want to do rituals around the food. I'm just going to show you what. So this is just ritualistic behavior as far as they're concerned. I'm over here. Oh, whatever it is. It's just Oh, they're absolutely just delicious, delicious. Oh, as I prepare the food. So this is all just ritualistic behavior that's bleeding to the buildup. And again, if you said, why do you give it something for nothing? So that I'm somebody that has something you want. That's why. Oh, the ritual, the ritual. Okay. So. Now I have mostly a bag of just the baloney. And you've got to work, though. You've got to say, if I can't even get this thing to eat, I'm probably not going to be able to get it to do anything else. It's the problem. And there isn't, I mean, any school of thought that involves not using food. You're not going to, that's not going to be a, a school of thought full of serious pro trainers. It's not. It's going to be a school of thought full of misguided people. You've got to use food. And last, if you said, when would the only time you wouldn't use food? It was a high drive retriever. You could use that. Those are your only two choices. There's my down by default. So I like that, but I'm also saying to myself, and this is what you've got to be saying, I'm at the mercy of, I'm not asking him to do anything, so I'm not, that's why I'm not getting in a bind, but I'm at the mercy, if I do ask him to do it, that he, he may refuse. And if you said, what would your refusal rate be? Eh, it'd be situational, who knows? And they're home when no one's around. Oh, I bet the refusal rate is zero. When he's at home alone, and they've got filet mignon, his refusal rate is less than zero. Outside, when he sees a cat, the refusal rate is probably 110%. So I can get him to travel. Oh, I've got all 
all kinds of animation, which I like. So what I can do, I'm going to do is add my... I added my precursor of the foot to the default. And if you said, well, what do you mean? Now it's a transitional down. <laughs> Mike's like, okay, got it, lady. <laughs> You've only got three stages. But I still haven't done the pager. And he's going on his own by the arms. But if I add the foot, just very subtly. Okay. <laughs> and honestly, he does some. Some dogs like this don't like to down on the, the ground if it's wet and all this. He really doesn't seem that concerned. He'd re I'd, be, I'd be worse off if I was trying to get him on the platform. I can just tell you that right now. He doesn't seem to mind. He likes to lay in the dirt. Oh, how he loves the dirt. All right, so now I'm going to just add everything. And I just stopped because I couldn't see the other foot. And I am. I'm giving him a whole handful. You're not just, and I'm not saying anything other than just a little bit of yay. You're not on, oh yay! And if you said, what were you re rewarding right there? The kicked out, I remember now, and he reminded me. But when I would do it, because I guess maybe he was so bouncy or something, I was really asking for that, sort of that flatter thing, like that one Great Dane. All right, so here's my transitional. I've got my, I'm going to do my arms, my foot, and my pager. Oh, how he loves his baloney. And I do, when he's looking at me in the eyes, I am saying something. I try, I don't. I can pick him right up with that pager, too. And this is different. I'm going to tell you, this is a different. I did, and if you said, what are you doing different than yesterday? Everything. He was being so awful. Uh, but I'm, st yay! I'm still saying to myself, you've got to always say to yourself, Honestly, in every dog, the refusal is is subclinical. That's why you have to add the nick on dogs that are completely pager trained. At some point in your training, you're saying, I have to add the nick to assure. At that point, that would be insurance against a refusal. And in dogs that have already refused but are now not refusing. In this dog, I'm not saying, oh, he's never going to refuse. I'm just saying the refusal is subclinical. And now I have to deal with that. You, that's what you're saying to yourself. All right, so I'm just going to add everything together. The hands, the feet, the pager. Okay. And the... Oh. The happiest person ever. All right, look, let me do it again, because I think I can get him to kick his leg. And he is. He's staying within the circle, looking at the handler. Gives me the shake off. <laughs> oh, he's the cutest boxer ever. Debbie Libby needs both of these. Gretchen's like, what? All through. Anyway, so that's where we're at. What I did was initially, rather than repeat the scene from yesterday where he was refusing me, you know, and you're just, you're, that's what I tell people. You're not just going at it. With, you need to be constantly thinking of your strategy. All right, here we go with Boxer Bonanza. So if you said, where are you going to add the... Pager in the, in the middle of this, if I can. Okay, here we go. Got a little speed. You've got to have distance too, though. You really don't want to do it when they're 
And you've got to watch her angles, too. I don't want to do it when he's driving her in the wrong direction. But I'm not losing animation. I'm gaining animation. She's got his hair up, and a lot of that's forced engagement. And she's not mind either, and she'll take them all along. Hang on, I gotta plug this battery in real quick. I'm getting ready to die completely. Hang on.